let's recall what is malnutrition malnutrition is the state when the required nutrients for proper functioning of the body are not obtained through the diet imbalanced diet or over nutrition can cause malnutrition which are the ways to prevent malnutrition taking wholesome food and balanced diet is the way to prevent malnutrition similarly as per our age and type of work we have to manage our diet to prevent malnutrition nutrition the process of taking in and using food which takes place in living organisms is called nutrition some life processes go on continuously in living organisms substances which are digested and assimilated for obtaining energy and for the growth and health of our body are called food stuffs we get several types of nutrients from food stuffs nutrients can be classified into two types namely macronutrients and micronutrients nutrients like carbohydrates proteins and fats are required in large quantity these are macronutrients minerals and vitamins are required in very small quantity they are called micronutrients need for nutrition to supply the energy required for doing work growth and development of the body to replace the damaged cells and repair tissues to fight diseases modes of nutrition in living things there are two modes of nutrition found in living things autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition some organism can produce their own food and thus nourish themselves this is called autotrophic nutrition heterotrophic nutrition some organisms depend on other organisms plants or animals for their food this is called heterotrophic nutrition autotrophic plants can you tell how do plants produce their own food plants also need food for their growth they can produce their own food with the help of sunlight and chlorophyll plants make their food in their leaves using water and nutrients from the soil and carbon dioxide from the air this process is called photosynthesis photosynthesis leaves of plants produce food with the help of green color pigment called chlorophyll due to presence of these green pigments the leaves of plants appear green in color you can see inside the leaf there are many transport vessels air spaces and chlorophyll pigment are present water and nutrients absorbed by the roots of plants transported to chlorophyll in the leaves through transport vessels to produce food when the sunlight falls on the leaves of plants the tiny pores present on the leaves called stomata open through which carbon dioxide gas is taken in for the production of food in the chlorophyll with the help of water and carbon dioxide glucose that is food is produced in the chlorophyll and oxygen is released out through stomata glucose that is food is transported to various parts of plant for the growth and development of the plant and the excessive food produced is stored in the various parts of plants like leaves stems roots and fruits transport system in plants the transport system of plants consist of xylem and the phloem the xylem transports minerals and water from the root to all aerial parts of the plant the phloem transports the food that is glucose from the leaves to other parts of the plant where it is either consumed or stored in other parts of the plant though the plants have a transport system they do not have a separate digestive or excretory system find out what is chemosynthesis which plant produced their food by chemosynthesis 
केमोसिंथेसिस इज द बायोलॉजिकल कन्वर्जन ऑफ वन और मोर कार्बन कंटेनिंग मॉलिक्यूल्स एंड न्यूट्रियट्स इन टू ऑर्गेनिक मैटर इट यूजेज द ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ इनऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स और मिथेन एज ए सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी रैदर दैन सनलाइट रिफ्ती या फैकेप्तिला प्रोड्यूस दर फूड बाय केमोसिंथेसिस लेट्स रिकॉल विच आर द डिफरंट सब्सटन्सेस एक्सक्रिटेड बाय द प्लांट्स वाय प्लांट्स एक्सक्रिट सब्सटन्सेस लाइक रिजिन्स गम्स रबर ऑइल एक्सेट्रा विच आर नॉट ऑफ एनी यूज टू द प्लांट्स हवेवर फॉर ह्यूमन बीइंग्स दीज आर इम्पॉर्टंट कमर्शियल प्रोडक्ट्स प्लांट्स डू नॉट हैव एक्सक्रिटरी सिस्टम सो सच सब्सटन्सेस are given out by the process of diffusion some substances are stored in the bark of the stem while some are deposited in the old xylem vessels since these products are useless for plants they are excreted by the plants plants produce carbohydrates by the process of photosynthesis carbohydrates are made from carbon hydrogen and oxygen proteins are made from carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen how do plants obtain the nitrogen necessary for the synthesis of proteins air contains gaseous nitrogen however plants cannot utilize gaseous nitrogen it needs to be fixed that is converted into compounds fixation of nitrogen occurs by biological and atmospheric methods biological fixation of nitrogen two different types of microorganisms can bring about biological nitrogen fixation root nodules of leguminous plants contain the rhizobium microorganisms these microorganisms absorb atmospheric nitrogen and convert it into its nitrate a compound microorganisms like azotobacter are present in soil they also convert atmospheric nitrogen into nitrates do you know atmospheric fixation of nitrogen lightning that is thunder bolts occur in the rainy season this causes atmospheric nitrogen and oxygen to react with each other to form nitric oxide that is no which is again oxidized to form nitrogen dioxide that is no2 the nitrogen dioxide dissolves in rain water and is converted into nitric acid that is HNO3 which gets added to the soil along with the rainwater plants use this nitrogen for their growth